Four hours after President Trump's visit to Bay County, it is still a big topic of discussion. On Wednesday, the president addressed a crowd of thousands in Panama City Beach. Most were eager to hear what he had to say about hurricane relief. As News 13's Kayla Tucker tells us, the area should be in good shape if the president delivers everything he's promising. In his first Florida trip of the 2020 campaign, President Donald Trump landed here in Bay County, making many promises to those recovering from Hurricane Michael. I was last here in the immediate aftermath of Hurricane Michael. You remember, we came, that was pretty bad stuff. And I pledge to you unwavering support Support and billions of dollars are two things the president says are coming to the panhandle. And we will never, ever leave your side. We've already given you billions of dollars, and there's a lot more coming as you do it. In fact, our area has received about $1.1 billion as of mid-April, but Congress still hasn't passed a federal disaster funding bill. President Trump also addressed rebuilding Tyndall Air Force Base. And I got a call from your great representatives. And they said, President, they want to close Tyndall because it got beat up badly. It got beat. And I made a couple of calls. And I said, General, why are we doing that? Those people are incredible. Currently, all new base construction is on hold without that disaster funding. Publicly, the military has always seemed to support rebuilding the base. According to the official Tyndall website, recovery efforts started the day after the storm, and the Secretary of the Air Force announced Tyndall would be rebuilt just 16 days after the storm. Because of the severity of this storm, Category 5, we will have the federal government pay for 90% of the cost in many circumstances. The 90% reimbursement has been a big concern for local governments struggling to clean up after Michael. Bay County officials now say the president's word is good enough for them and they consider the 90-10 split to be official. The president also promising $448 million from the Department of Housing and Urban Development Disaster Recovery to reestablish low-income housing locally. Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.